don't fight Lip pops with the socks high My dad was driving me down to the diamond Hi, could I please get a grande toasted white chocolate I mocha? Hi gonna make it Good, how are you? Now. Thank you Maybe it's crazy to think we're the same kid It's just circles in my head I've been running after something I know money couldn't help Always starving for my purpose Maybe I ain't found it yet Honest questions with my mother All these things you think you want Will they ever be enough? Looking for the answers where they used to be At the center Would be enough for me That would be enough for me And now, a word from our sponsor Thank you so much to Microsoft 365 for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited about this because as a business student and specifically a marketing major, I use Microsoft 365 every single day. You may be familiar with the super popular Microsoft 365 applications like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. As a marketing major, I do a ton of presentations and every time I have a presentation, I make it in PowerPoint because it is the easiest and it's the best way that I have found, honestly, to make a good, effective, nicely laid out presentation. I'm going to show you guys a brief tutorial later on in the video of how I make my PowerPoint presentation and some of my favorite features of PowerPoint and some tips and tricks that I always use when I'm making PowerPoint. So stay tuned for that later on. Microsoft 365 is truly useful for any type of day. Whether you are in school like me, you're in the office, you are prepping for the holidays, literally whatever you're doing, there is a feature of Microsoft 365 that you can utilize. Microsoft 365 facilitates three main things, and that is organization, creativity, and connection. Microsoft 365 definitely helps me to stay organized in school, keep all of my assignments straight, and make sure that I am putting my best foot forward. With features like designer and templates, I can add my own touch of creativity to the assignments that I'm making, the PowerPoints that I'm making. And with the holidays looking a lot different this year, it's important to stay connected to the ones that you love. So Microsoft 365 features like to-do and OneNote, OneDrive, and templates can help you to create holiday lists lists, to-do lists, gift lists, digital holiday cards, planning for the holidays, and things like that. If you want to sign up for Microsoft 365 and get to download and utilize all of the features that I just talked about and more, you guys can click the link in my description. It'll take you to their website where you can learn more and you can sign up if you want to. And again, thank you so much to Microsoft 365 for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the vlog. What's up you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. Girl. Okay, it is Monday. It is 10.35 a.m. And I wanted to do a little day in my life, college day in my life. Haven't done one of these in a little bit. Took a little bit of a break from these because yeah, school has been really, really tough. Today is technically the second to last day of the semester. The fall semester classes end tomorrow. For reference, today is November 23rd. So Thanksgiving is this Thursday. You will be seeing this video not this weekend, but next. Yeah, that's the sitch. Typically on Mondays, if you have watched my college vlogs before. I feel like a lot of the time when I do college vlogs are on Mondays because I am all virtual today. It's a lot easier to vlog just when I'm at my house by myself and not in public. So typically I have three classes on Mondays. However, since today is the second to last day of the semester, I only have one class. My 11 o'clock class that I usually have, we finished classes last Monday. Like we haven't had class since last Monday. And all we have to do is a paper for the end of the semester and a presentation. And we already did part one of it. So it's like a partner thing. So that's besides the point. The class that I'm supposed to have at three or that I usually have at three, I don't have because we finished that class on Wednesday and then all I have to do left for that is an exam and also a mini dissertation. I pretty much have to write it. It's gonna be... So the only class that I do have is my 12 o'clock and I don't actually have to do anything because we are giving presentations right now. I actually had my presentation on Friday, so I'm done. I still have a final in this class. I'm gonna go through Canvas and look at all my stuff here in a second, but yeah, so I have that class at 12, but I don't have to do anything. I'm just supposed to show up for like emotional support to listen to the other presentations. But other than that, the day is really my oyster. 
the world is my oyster. The day is my oyster. And do I have a lot to do? Yes, but I don't know why I'm not stressed about it right now. I probably will be. I don't, I'm not stressed about it right now. And I'm in a good mood today, which is why I wanted to vlog. Yeah, I went to Starbucks, as you guys saw. I got my favorite holiday drink. This is the toasted white chocolate mocha. Yes, it is a hot coffee. If you've been watching me since last holiday season, you would know that I love this drink. This is the only hot drink I will get. You guys know I'm an iced coffee girl, but the toasted white chocolate mocha is so good. It is like comfort and just coziness in a cup. So let's think about our agenda today. I really am not so setting a specific to-do list for today because I know what I have to do. And instead of writing like a to-do list for today, I'm gonna write like a master to-do list for the whole rest of the semester. So that's what I was starting to talk about like five seconds ago. I'm gonna go onto Canvas and I'm going to look at everything that I have to do for all of my classes and write all of it down and just hang it on the wall. So I know exactly what I have to to complete for the rest of the semester. And if professors at this stage of the semester decide to assign random I will sue. I will sue. All right, so I am now just gonna sit here, go through my canvas and write down everything that I need to do for every class for the rest of the semester. And I'm gonna organize it based on date. Like the things that are due sooner will be at the top, you know what I mean, kind of situation. So we're gonna go through and do that. And I feel like that's gonna be good for me. was supposed to do something for one of my how many group projects do i have left four yeah i just can't keep them straight anymore so i'm gonna do that really quick i am a designer oh wow didn't see you there Okay, um, anyway. Hi everybody, I want to take a break from the vlog content and share with you guys my brief tutorial for my favorite features to use within PowerPoint, how I use them, and just, you know, some of my best practices, my tips and tricks. So, let's begin. The very first thing that I do as soon as I start a presentation is choose a theme. There are so many built into PowerPoint and I pick my theme based on the topic of the presentation, so the vibes have to match, you know what I mean? And then you can even further customize it by picking your color palette. So when you choose a theme, the color palette that is the default for the theme automatically applies to your presentation, but you can actually go in and pick your own color palette. I think that one of my absolute favorite things about PowerPoint and the reason that I choose to make all of my presentations in PowerPoint is the design ideas feature. Okay, so what I do here is I just type in whatever text I want on the slide. And if I want any graphics on that slide, I will just insert them and put them on a random random spot on the slide. I don't even try to format it. I just kind of put all the information there and then you can click the design ideas button on the ribbon and it will generate a bunch of different layouts that you can pick from. Literally there are so many options and it does it all for you. It literally just makes it so easy to format your slides and make them look nice. Throughout my little sample presentation that I am showing you guys right now, that is what I'm doing. I'm literally just typing in information, throwing graphics in and letting the designer feature do the rest for me. And it's amazing. Another thing that I love to do is inserting icons. So if I don't have a specific graphic that I want to use, or I just want to add something to a slide that doesn't have a graphic, or I think that an icon would be supplemental somewhere, there is an option to search a gallery of icons. So you can just type in a keyword and a bunch of icons will pop up and you can just put any of them in there. And then when you are done creating your presentation, you can go into the PowerPoint presenter coach and you can run through your presentation, practice what you want to say, and the presenter 
hair coach will literally listen to you, listen to your tone of voice, your pace, if you're using any filler words and things like that. And then at the end of your practice run, it will give you a report of pretty much how you did and improvements that you can make so that you can make sure that you're going to nail your presentation. Those are my main tips and tricks. That's really what I do every time I create a PowerPoint presentation. So that has been my brief PowerPoint tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed and let's get back to the vlog. Okay, my hair just progressively gets worse, but that's okay. Okay, so it's 11.24 now. Oh my god, <laughs> time has flown. I don't want to drink this because it is so good and I don't want it to be over. From now until I have to sign into Zoom at 12, I think that I want to get on and review and edit my group project for my advertising class. So we had to write a communication plan for a company that actually last semester when I had a class called Branding, I said that we were rebranding an actual local organization. We're actually working with them again in my advertising class. So we rebranded them in Branding and now we are creating an advertising plan for them in advertising. Our communication plan is pretty much just the written out explanation of the advertising plan so we did this submitted it and my professor got back to us with feedback so i am going to go through and read what she said and then make any changes that we need to so that this is all ready for the final we also are working on a powerpoint for it which is the draft is actually due tomorrow i've been making mock-ups of ads which is actually so much fun like i'm genuinely having fun doing that so i'm not complaining at all that i can just sit on canvas and design ads. So I got a 97.5 on this, so I am pretty excited about that because I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this thing. I'm gonna go through, review the comments, edit the plan, and we're gonna sign into Zoom. We're gonna provide some emotional support for my classmates that I don't know, and <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> I am very hungry, so I just cut myself an apple and got some peanut butter with it, so I'm gonna eat that. I sat in my class, that was that, so I don't have any more classes today. My one group member for my advertising project said that she would do the rest of the revisions because I did like a third of them, so I don't have to do that. The only other thing that I really want to do is make more like ad mock-ups for that project, but I can do that later. So right now I'm just really in the mood to chill out and I want to watch a documentary, kind of random, but I just am in the mood to watch a documentary. So I think that I am going to go sit on my bed, eat my apple with peanut butter and put on a nice documentary or something and just have myself a moment. And I'm really, really excited about it. I'm so hungry. So... <laughs> is not my favorite. It is several hours later. Since I last talked to you guys, I have done absolutely nothing and I have loved every second of it. Oh my god, I don't remember the last time. Okay, first of all, my hair, it looks like I'm balding almost, but I think that it's just because my roots are coming in. They're lighter than my hair is, so it looks, it makes it look really strange, but I promise I'm okay. Like, well, actually, I have lost a larger amount of hair in the shower recently than I have before, but I'm gonna blame that on stress and keep it moving. So it is now six o'clock. Honestly, like, I don't have anything that I need to do for the rest of the night. Like, anything that I need to do. Like I've completed all of my tasks that were necessary. So I pretty much see myself eating dinner, my nighttime skincare, doing all of that, and then watching TV with my mom. That is what I see myself doing for the rest of the night. But like I actually did get things done today. Like I went to a class. I didn't actually do anything in that class, but I still went. I made a list of my to-dos. I worked on some things for group projects. I'd say I'm in pretty good shape right now to take a break. Like I, I feel comfortable taking a break today and not pushing myself to get done a million things that aren't even 
even do this week. Probably chip away at some more things tomorrow, but this is probably going to be the end of the vlog. You guys know that I never vlog at night, really, because my nighttime is my me time, and I just, like, need to have that time to de-stress and regroup, prepare for the next day. So, did I have the most productive day ever? No, but today was actually a good day. I had good vibes today. I did stuff, and I feel good about it. Yeah, with that being said, that is the end of today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single Sunday. If you forget that I post a new video every single Sunday, or if you just want to get notified right when I post a new video, make sure you turn on my post notifications. It's the little bell icon so that you can get notified right when I post a new video. Again, thank you so much to Microsoft 365 for sponsoring today's video. You guys can click the link in my description if you want to sign up for Microsoft 365 or learn more about it. Yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.